And yes, we know the cicadas, they are here, but while the insects seem to cover some neighborhoods, they're avoiding others altogether. Yeah, they're not playing fair. Sean Stryker live in Randallstown, where they are so bad there that some people are actually changing plans and avoiding going outside altogether, Sean. Break it down. Yeah. You know what? I can't blame you. When we first got here, it was raining. That really seems to keep the cicadas at bay. The rain has since stopped. The cicadas have come out to play. You can see this tree covered in their exoskeleton. The grass seems to be moving because there are so many cicadas out here this morning. You can almost understand why people are choosing to stay inside. Michael Izzard just wants to have a barbecue, but there's one little pesky problem standing in the way. I don't think right now I kind of feel comfortable having people over. He says they started noticing the cicadas a few weeks ago. They now cover his shed and make yard work unbearable. Just an uncomfortable, icky feeling. Even his dog Midnight is not a fan. And they start making this buzzing sound and everything. Uh, she hates it and she's very uncomfortable with it. But while Michael battles these bugs on a daily basis, other areas seem to have avoided the infestation. You know, in some places you're going to have a lot of cicadas and then you can go uh, three doors down, they got no cicadas. So Mike Raup, better known as the bug guy with the University of Maryland, says there's a few reasons why. It will depend on number one, where those cicadas decided to lay those eggs, which tree 17 years ago, and number two, if there's been changes in the land use patterns, for example, regrading construction or taking down those trees, you're simply not going to have periodical cicadas. And that's why newer developments seem to be shielded from the cicadas. Unfortunately for Michael, his house was built nearly 60 years ago. He's just hoping he'll be able to have that barbecue soon. We're hoping to maybe have people over for the 4th of July instead. And it appears that 4th of July barbecue will be a go. Right now, the cicadas are at their peak. They will be at their peak until the end of the month. When July hits, they'll start to fade out. Hopefully, they'll be completely gone by July. Look, here's my pro tip because my house is covered. I keep this <laughs> oh leaf gosh. blower ready, and I just kind of leaf blow <laughs> to clear my path. The next day, they're right back. So, you know, I have to do it on a daily basis. Sean's like a true superhero. Oh, he is. Just put up the Sean Stryker light and go to their Sean house Stryker and take the cicadas. Come and blow the exoskeletons He'll from take your care yard. Of it. You are He's the hero. You. We all That's need it, Sean. <laughs> Sean, Just thank helping, you. doing my part. You're making Bob Turk a little mad over oh here. He, he doesn't gosh. like that. Good stuff, Sean. Thank you, Sean.